Hey guys, so now that it is June, it's time to go over the things that I got in May and May releases and things like that. Mostly a lot of Amiibo. There's a lot of Amiibo here, but there's a few other things as well. As you can see, uh, some Sailor Moon figures. I was about to present those and then my camera turned off. Uh, yeah, I'm using my ca old camera again. You know, nicer quality. I know you guys are like that. And then I sneeze and then the camera turned off because I never hit record. So yeah. <laughs> Also, I want you guys to go check out the Rack Show. Their latest video is an interview that I did with them. Link will be here somewhere in my face and in the description. Definitely check that video out after here because I'm also going to be doing some videos with them on their channel over the summer. So look forward to that. Alright, time to get to things I got. So, uh, for Sailor Moon, there's quite a few Sailor Moon actually. I finally got the last two Tamashi Nations figures that I needed to get to get all the inner senshi. So I did pick up Mercury and Sailor Mars and I tried to pose them and I did a really bad job of doing it. And then also there's a local Chinese, Japanese import store at my local mall. So I've been going through and getting like the little chibi figures of them. So I got a little chibi Mars because I, I, I couldn't help it. She's just too adorable. And if you can see behind me, I did get this Amiibo case. It was actually originally $30 at Best Buy. Uh, it went on sale for $10 for a deal of the day and I had a $5 reward certificate. So I paid five bucks for that. Uh, definitely gonna be needing that to transport my Amiibo when I move. And it's just uh, $5. I could not pass that up. I also did get a couple other Amiibo cases. This one was $5 at GameStop. Um, and it's just a foldable one. It turns into a square. It says Amiibo on this side. It has Mario on this side. And then it has the Amiibo picture that you see at the store. It's usually above Toys R Us. I know that it's there. Uh, it has all the characters. And uh, it's just, this is one thing that, that I don't get. Um, you have all the local like the newer versions of all these characters and yet you got the Twilight version of um, Link here and it's just like his, his art style kind of stands out a little bit like I do love the Twilight Princess art style don't get me wrong um, but it just like kind of confuses me but um, yeah cool it's adorable I like it they're cute and then this one was on sale for $10 at GameStop as well I decided to get the 1UP Mushroom because why not get a mushroom for Mario and it says Amiibo, Amiibo on the handle there. I also can't forget I got some little like little paper pamphlets, advertisements at GameStop when I went to the test um, demo that they had in the store. I had a lot of fun. That's where I got to first experience a single player mission. Uh, it was I think the very first level, but I really liked it. And then there was one here for Splatoon that we could see. And then this one's a double-sided poster. I got two of them because of the two different sides. I really love both sides. So this is uh, definitely like blue a lot. So blue's my favorite color. It's a really nice artwork of Splatoon for the game. And then you flip it over on the other side. The, the, this side's glossy. And then this one is more of a matte. Uh, feeling and look to it. Uh, definitely just really love both of these. Club Nintendo had a price drop of some of their items that were still left over. Uh, Chris still had some coins in his account so because he could get it and figured I would like it. Uh, he let me pick out the Super Mario Retro Mario 8-bit shirt. I just really like it. It's nice and long, nice material and of course the Club Nintendo logo on that side but just nice little 8-bit Mario. I see if I can open it up here. So yeah, nice little Abe and Mario. And of course, May 29th was a huge day for Nintendo and Amiibo. Uh, I did pick up Splatoon. I got it at Best Buy because my 20% off Gamers Club Dunlock membership, which I am not promoted or sponsored by them in any way to say that, but I highly recommend that membership because it is $30 for two years. That's its new official price point, and you get 20% off games, and that actually includes the Amiibo figures as well. So I, that's... I, I, you can't beat that. So yeah, 20% off. Brand new source balloon. At midnight, I went to a 24-hour store. I was the first in line. I picked up Robin, Lucina, and then also on my lap, I got Silver Mario and Wario. So those ones I got all at midnight. Ones I got in the mail, I got what? Ness, Charizard, and I did get Pac-Man if I can grab him uh, right over here. So the 24 hour store that I got my four at midnight were uh, was Meyer, 
and I'm a part of their M Perks membership. Like, it's a reward system, and it really works out. Um, I got this sent to me in the mail uh, from GameStop that I ordered, but I ended up returning it to the store and getting it at Meijer because I had a $15 reward from M Perks, so I only paid $15 for my Splatoon set. I did pick up Greninja at Toys R Us, my pre-order, and let me tell you, Toys R Us, the one I went to, had an amazing way of handling everything. They had like carts blocking off the aisleways by the games and like made it just one big line. Associates were watching over all the amiibo figures, making sure everyone was calm. Cool Collective got the figures they deserved and they were in line for and um, I'm really happy about the way that they handled it the 29th at my store. So kudos to you Toys R Us. And then lastly, I did get Jigglypuff. I waited at Target starting at 2 a.m. with a few of my friends and a couple guys we met. Uh, there's a huge story of how my friend got screwed over out of his Lucina. If you want to watch that video, you can go click it right around here and that will be in the description as well. But I do want to give an update on that if you've already watched that video. I did talk to the manager at the Target that I went to. We have met a resolution. He was very nice about everything. He said he looked over the security footage and saw what happened so he said that as long as we came to agreement as long as Dark Pit and Polutena aren't exclusive and Target does get stock of them he will hold them off to the side for us on release day and me and my friend Hayden will not have to wait in line and he will just have them at the guest service counter or wherever held off for us so I'm very thankful for that so I'm very happy to Target and that manager for coming to that resolution with me and making up for what happened. So thank you very much. And then I did get my Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask puzzle off of Club Nintendo. So that's everything I got for the month of May. Pretty sure if I have a download I'm missing, that'll be in the description because I can't remember downloads off the top of my head. Um, my next video is going to be unboxing every single amiibo that you see here uh, because I'm not one of those people that keeps them in the box. I like to use them and I like them out of the box. That's just, just me personally. Uh, so yeah, if you want to check out that video, if it's already up, it'll, it'll be another link in the description. Lots of things in the description. Other things in the description you should also check out. My Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you know my social media where I post. Like Instagram's the first place I post when I pick things up during the month. So you can check those things out there. If this is your first time at my YouTube channel, make sure you click that subscribe button down below because it'll let you know when I upload new videos along with my social media as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!